listener today. You have your listening ears on. You're not being a good listener. Ever say that to a kid and look at you in sheer confusion? Yeah. They're like, you're not being a good listener. I just heard you. You just said I'm not being a good listener. These kids are going to start doubting their hearing. Are you being a good listener? And they're just like, yeah. How many of you have somebody at home that doesn't listen to you? Now, is it really that they don't listen to you or they listen to you all the time because you follow them from room to room to room, saying the same stuff over and over, but they're not doing what you want them to do because you haven't figured out a way for them to choose to change their behaviors. How does it make sense? You look at a child, the child goes, I'm not being like, I, the kid's like, you're saying I'm not being a good listener. I hear you all the time. I hear you when you're on the opposite side of the room where the camera can't see you when you're on your phone voice texting your boyfriend. Come on. I see you all the time. When in human communication did listening and following directions just get merged into like, like a, any Venn diagram, any math people. It's like a Venn diagram. It all sounds like listening and following directions, two different things. Two different things, but we confuse the kids. See, the problem is we're, we're, we are taught to communicate in a way that doesn't make sense, and we blame the kids for not understanding. 